Hey guys, what's up? Red Neck Game here. Welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 15 mods. About late. I already bought a couple things because I, f I forgot I was going to do a mod spot late. <laughs> I, I don't know, I just, just wasn't thinking. First mod, as you see, is the Bjornholm map. It's the default map just covered in snow, which you can actually plow with some mods. Let me show you what mods we are covering today. As you can tell by the title of this video, we are covering snow plow mods. We have the, <coughs> excuse me, the Cross 6510 for $65,100, $53 a day, 240 horsepower, capacity is 13,500, and that's all. I already bought one by accident, so yeah. This one, this snow plow, I know it doesn't look like one, but it is a snow plow, and it is just for looks. That's a warning now. That goes for this. <coughs> Oh, excuse me. I need to mute my mic real quick. Okay, that's better. Same as with this pickup. It is also for just for looks, but it still has a snowplow, so I am reviewing it. It's still good for pictures, you know? $95 a day, 11500 to buy, two... 2,250 horsepower. Did I read the cross right? Yeah, that's only... <laughs> wow. It's, uh... Not good. Yeah, that's the one I have selected. Yikes. Um... Our next... One is in... Misk? No. This is not a snowplow. It is purely just a blade. A dozer blade. Weights? No. Cars, wheelers, telehandlers, misc, placeables. No, it was a thing all... I can't find it. I just looked before I started. I was kind of prepared. There we are. Wind rowers. We have the snow blower. <clears throat> we are... We can download... Download buy that it is fifteen hundred to buy two dollars a day working with a three point three meters and that stuff go ahead and buy we aren't going to review this because i highly dislike it i give it the worst review ever um then for some reason you gotta go into your brands category you gotta find your uh lizard category all the way back, I have two, but one of them is updated version, and that's this one. Or this one. My phone just went off. I I'll get that later. That's. I'm going to go with this one. Either way, they work exactly the same. I think it was just uh, slight fixes they did. Anyway, we have the snowplow here. Lizard, 2500 Maintenance is $95 a day. Max power, don't really know why that's on there. I think that's because you need power to run it. <laughs> I I think that's what it means. It's, uh, I think this should say power required. That's what I'm trying to say. 135 horsepower, let's go ahead and buy. Um, did I actually buy the snow blower? Well, we're about to find out. I made the pickup yellow because it's, it's snow. Oh. And we also have a tractor to, to go with the snowblower. And, uh... Um... Stuff. Not that. Here we are. That case maximum 140 MC winter. $15,000 to buy. $250 a day. Maintenance. 141 horsepower. And let's buy took a bit to buy. Kind of scary. So here we are. Some pretty good mods. I mean, again, these ones are just for show, but show them anyway. Don't worry, guys. You have a beacon hovering in front of your snowplow. Because everybody's going to see that when you're plowing snow. Now, as far as I know, first off, so we don't have to deal with this. There is no 
mass buttons except for the tailgate. Go ahead and back up. I I have played on this map already. A lot. <laughs> and I already plowed like the parking lot and roads because I was bored one day. So yeah. This is purely this is literally it. It's just a plow on a truck. That's all you get with this mod. You don't even get a sick drift with it. What the heck? <laughs> I guess, I guess if you're putting pictures up on the forums, I guess it, I guess it'll be all right, but it deserves a crash into the wall, so have fun. Let's go to the cross. I like the model of this truck already. Just cuz it looks nice and old and beat beat to hell. <laughs> To be honest, start it up. Ooh, ooh, is that smoke? That's a smoke particle, isn't it? It's slightly. There is a little bit of a smoke particle in there. Looks kind of funky coming out of the exhaust, though. We got some numpad controls. We got numpad seven for our door, nine for our other door, and eight. What's eight do? Eight opens the hood, so we gotta check that out. <laughs> we gotta check that out. Oh, man, this actually looks really good. Wow, you got the starter. What is this thing? That's, that's pretty big, whatever it is. <laughs> wow. This is actually really, really well done. You got turbos. Wow. I'm a fan of this. I okay, guess close all that stuff up. We got X to lift body. No way, that is awesome. Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> I always wanted that in FS13 for a picture wise. Oh my god, that's awesome. And I think you can press V to. Oh. You can't lo lower the snowplow, sadly. Thought you could on this. Interior looks ama. Looks damn amazing, <laughs> if I do say so myself. I'm going to have to look up just the cross itself because I want to use this thing now. Man. This is amazing. I, I'm i blown away by this one. Go ahead and take it for a drive. It handles pretty well. Looks like we got a 38 mile an hour according to the top speed thingy. Yep, 38 miles an hour top speed. No crazy drifts, which is what I expect with this big old hunk of metal. I mean, this is literally a hunk of metal. Let me just press other buttons. We got uh, signals. We got beacons. No beacons anywhere. It's alright. Man, all the gauges work. This is amazing. <laughs> so this one, I think, I think we're just gonna park it over here. We we can park it. We don't have to ram it into a building. Okay, that's kind of obnoxious, but okay. So here are our snow plow and snow blower. I think the snow plow and snow blower come in a pack. These two. I uh, no maybe maybe they do. So it looks pretty good. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Now the author did note that the snowblower has no animation, so we're going to take that into consideration, and the consideration that every other snowplower I tested, like this one and the green one, is literally just like a wind rower or a rake. Because I, I sometimes call them that for some reason. They just kind of push the snow off to the side in that kind of fashion. So, it, they're alright. They're alright. I mean, at least they actually pushed the snow somewhere. Like in FS13, it would just get rid of it. Just get rid of it. It would. <laughs> Let's get in here. It actually looks pretty good. It looks like it's been out in the snow for a little bit. Start it up. I think it's just the in-game. There is snow in the cab. That's not good. <laughs> hey, we got some uh, some of that stuff. 
Looks like soda, I guess. We got window, window, and window. Okay. Five. Five. Okay, five isn't a window, it's the front hitch. Seven. Does nothing. Eight. Does nothing. So the buttons don't work. That's a shame. It's got some get up and go to it, which is not that great. Hook up the snowplow. As you can see, it, it is labeled as a wind rover. If you look in the controls box. And with this one, we can actually angle it. Which is really cool. So what you want to do is angle it this way. Let's, uh, let's drive down here, actually. I think we can just drive down here. Because I think this is a road right through here. Let's go ahead and lower it. We're going to turn it on. Now see the problem with the green one? that I showed you in the beginning and I said I wasn't going to buy it would make the wind rower sounds and if we start plowing you can see all the snow gets pushed to the side I mean it's not great but it's farming simulator not snow plow simulator so be cool if it was implemented into the game that way there was like growing seasons and stuff nudge nudge wink wink giants um, but for now I guess I guess this works I like it. I mean, I've played it for about four hours plowing snow, so that tells you something. And that's pretty much all there is to this snow plow. Let's get the snow blue, or we'll just put that one on the back. Also, this tractor sounds like a little remote control tractor, so <laughs> just saying. So again, same thing on the back. We can't change the direction. Is it is the um, uh, snowblower, so I wouldn't expect to. Not yet, at least. Let's lower it. Ah, you see? Like change the sound at least. Come on. So it is. It does get pushed slightly out of sight, but it looks like. For the most part, it just gets pushed backwards. That's pretty cool. There's no animations at all, which is, like I said, the uh, the mod author uh, noted that in the mod description on the website, so it is excused by me at least, because he did he does know that it has none. He made it like that. All right, so that's. That's it. Some basic mods for today. Nice little short video. And, uh, yeah. So, the pickup truck, thumbs down. The cross, I'll give it a thumbs up. And these three things all get a thumbs up. So, there, there, we got four good mods and one bad mod. Oh, five good mods because of this map. This map is amazing. There is no loss of frame rate whatsoever. So the map gets a double thumbs up because it is the perfect map. It's not a modded map but it's Bjorn Home. I mean you have to download it so it's slightly modded. <laughs> they changed nothing except for the textures on the ground. Anyway, so thank you guys for watching. Till next time I'm Gamer. See you all in the next video.